Welcome again, everyone. So this is going to be a viewer requested video. Um, before we dive into that, we got here, uh, we're picking up where we left off on the last video. I got the hitch modified to fit our roll pan. So pretty straightforward. I just used the factory hitch. I cut the brackets. So this is the factory bracket. And then I've got a couple plates that I cut here to weld onto it. Over here, you can see the old bracket a little better, a couple extra gussets there. Nothing to it, um, but what we're going to be talking about, we're going to try to keep this short and to the point, um, which is kind of explaining the air suspension a little bit more. This is a very simple setup, um, and uh, obviously, to, be, to begin with, we have to have compressed air. So what I'm running is just a 12-volt compressor plumbed into a tank. We've got a pressure switch here. Um, this is a relay pressure switch all-in-one. Um, you can choose however you want to do it, but basically we need compressed air to do so. Um, and then from there, we have our two main features, or three if you want to count the bags, but we've got up here in the front, on my application, I've got the leveling valve up here, the dump valve, and then obviously our bags on either side. So coming from the tank, I've got, this is my supply line, and I've got two, this was teed off here because one runs to my dump valve, um, and then the other runs to the supply on the leveling valve. So leveling valve, very self-explanatory. It keeps us at level. The this arm coming out here controls up or down. So no matter how much load we put on it, it will adjust our level or therefore take, if we take load off of it, it will bring us back down to level. Very straightforward. Um, and this one, we have a feed or we have a supply and then we have a feed if you weren't running a dump valve, you would just plumb this right to your bags. You would tee off of one of these, whichever one is. I'm not sure which one's the feed and supply. I think this is the feed. And then the supply would go to either left or, um, you know, left and or right. Um, pretty straightforward there. And then we come back to our dump valve. So air, air supply comes in around, goes into our leveling valve. And I think it's this one. And then our, our supply coming from the leveling valve, which keeps us at level, gets plumbed into um, the lower port on this dump valve. So there's there's markings on it. The bottom one is your supply. So the bottom one's supply, these two ones in the middle here, if you can see that well enough, the two in the middle are your um, delivery or your supply to your airbags or whatever feature you have. Um, they, normally this would be mounted on a big rig, so Typically, one of these would be feeding the rear axle, one of these would be feeding the front axle, um, so on and so forth. So in my case, I've just got one line feeding the right bag, and I've got one line feeding the left bag. And then the only other thing, like I said, we've got our supply here on the bottom. These are these two in the middle are the delivery to the bags, and then the one on top is our, it's labeled pilot. And all that is is just what it says it does. This is the pilot line that feeds the dump valve, and the only, I shouldn't say the only, but how this works is you supply pressure to the top line. As long as it exceeds what's in your bags currently, it will overpressure the spring in here or the air pressure in this, and it will relieve the pressure out of this here um, dump valve. So there's a couple ways to do it. The way I have it set up is <clears throat> I have a three-way valve, a manual valve that goes, runs up to the cab. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but, uh, this has to be, this pilot line, the biggest um, <clears throat> thing about this, it has to be vented. So I've, in the past, I've run a solenoid, like a 12 volt solenoid, which you can do so, but you almost have to have two of them to where, or one, one that whenever one powers on, you have one that's normally closed and one that's normally open because you have to vent this line in order to get the bags to come back up. So for instance, if you ran a feed here, and you control it with a solenoid, if the solenoid sits in the line here and you energize it from here to here, you have to be able to, to bleed this section down in order to get the bags to come back up. So you could, you, what you could do is you could put a solenoid to run, to run the valve and then you close that solenoid and then you have a sep secondary one to bleed it off. Um, you could do it that way or like how I have it set up. This is how I have mine set up. This is plumbed into the floor of the truck right here. Um, and as I mentioned, it's got to be a three-way valve. If you can tell, there's a vent port up here on the top. So basically, 
Um, air comes in, air goes out, it pilots the dump valve. And that's controlled right here. So if I press this in, drop our pressure. And then as you can see from here, I'll see if you can listen when I open it or you know release the uh, pressure going to the dump valve. You hear that pressure bleed off. That's the bleed off we needed to get the bags to come back up. And if you can see, they're back up and going. So I hope that answered the question. As I said, you can run a solenoid, no problem. Um, that kind of keeps the plumbing towards the rear, but you have to have a way to vent. So I believe this would be the one that goes to the dump valve. This is your supply. And this one goes to the valve itself. You just have to have a way to vent the pressure in this line once you're ready to bring the bags back up. So hope that was simple enough. Um, if you got any other questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.